All right, let's talk about accelerated model training with mixed precision training. So in this first video, we will introduce what mixed precision training means. So usually when we train models on the GPU, we use a float 32-bit representation for our numbers, for example, the weights and the activations. So in a 32-bit representation for floats, we have one bit for the sign, whether it's a positive or a negative number. We have eight bits for the exponent and 23 bits for the fraction. And here at the bottom, I'm showing you the formula, how this is exactly used to represent the number. However, notice that this formula is quite complicated and you don't have to understand the details. Here the takeaway really is that we have 23 bits for the fraction so that we can then represent decimal numbers with a certain precision. And then note in contrast, we have a float 16-bit representation, which is sometimes also referred to as half precision, where we have fewer elements for the exponents and the fractions. So we use fewer bits to represent a number here. And if we use fewer bits, this means that we require less memory and it can also be sometimes faster to compute numbers with a lower bit representation because we have to move fewer things around in memory, of course. Note that there is also an alternative 16-bit representation called bfloat16, where b stands for brain. In this representation, we have a higher dynamic range. So notice that we have more bits for the exponent, but we have fewer bits for the fraction. So it's a different trade-off that the bfloat16 makes here. And which one to use, that depends on your hardware. Some hardware works better with the regular float16 representation, and some hardware is optimized for the bfloat16 representation. So this was just a very brief outline of what float16 means compared to float32 bit. And as you might guess, mixed precision training is about switching between those two representations. But before we get to that, let me talk a bit about the implications of switching to a lower float bit representation. So here I'm showing you a NumPy example where we have a number in float 32-bit representation and the same number in float 16-bit representation. And as we can tell here, based on the decimal point representation, we have a lower precision when we use the float 16 representation. So ignoring the zeros here, you notice that we have fewer numbers after the decimal point when we use float 16 compared to float 32. However, since in neural networks we have a lot of stochastic elements and a lot of randomness anyways, we don't necessarily need a very high precision. So this is why we can use something like mixed precision to get relatively good performance with our network in terms of the accuracy when we use a lower precision. So another implication of using a lower precision is that we might suffer from overflow or underflow. So what does that mean? What is overflow and underflow? So this means when we are representing numbers that are either too large or too small, we will get uh, unexpected results. So this means that we can't really store or represent this number anymore if it's too small or too large. So here I'm showing you an example of 10 to the power of 6, 1 million, and you can see that's not a problem for 32-bit representations. However, when we switch to float 16, we can see that we get an infinite here. So in this example, I'm showing you the number 10 to the power of 6, which is 1 million, and we can see with 32-bit representations, it's not a problem to display this number. However, if we switch to a 16-bit representation, we can see that we get an infinite here because this number is too large to be represented as a 16-bit number. So when we train neural networks, we can take advantage of a concept called automatic mixed precision training, where the network is automatically switching between 32-bit and 16-bit precision representations. And the switch is such that no prediction accuracy is lost. And if we are using the Lightning Trainer, it's incredibly easy to enable mixed precision training by just setting the precision here equal to 16 mixed. And you can also try out the B16 representation here by changing it to B16 mixed. But again, this only works well on certain hardware, but it's at least worth a try. So let's take a look what happens under the hood when we use mixed precision training. So suppose we have a model with weights in a 32-bit representation. The first step is to convert the weights to a 16-bit representation before we compute the gradients. And then the computed gradients are converted back to a 32-bit representation, which we then multiply with the learning rate to update the weights using the optimizer. And then the cycle continues doing automatic precision training. And with this trick, we save computation time without suffering from any accuracy loss. So as a side note, you might have heard the term quantization. So I also wanted to briefly mention what's the difference between mixed precision training and quantization. 
So in mixed precision training, as the rule of thumb, we usually switch between 32-bit representations and 16-bit representations. And that is usually done during training to speed up the model training. As the rule of thumb, in quantization, we typically convert 32-bit float representations to 8-bit integer representations, and that is usually to speed up inference of networks. So yeah, in this unit we covered in a nutshell how mixed precision training works, and in the next video I will show you a concrete example using some PyTorch code.